It does say in my Twitter bio that I'm a theocratic fascist. Uh, it, well, because a few months ago, someone sent me a message trying to insult me, uh, and, and the message said, uh, hey, you know, you should put theocratic fascist in your Twitter bio because that's what you are. And I said, okay. And I did. And, and that's why it's there. That's the whole story. Now, you could interpret it one of two ways. You, you see theocratic fascist in my Twitter bio. You could, you could say, well, clearly that's a sarcastic joke, making fun of all the people who call him a fascist and a theocrat without knowing what either of those words mean. Um, so you could interpret it that way. Or you could say, oh, wow, he is literally a theocratic fascist who actually identifies that way on Twitter <laughs> completely sincerely with no sarcasm. You could interpret it either way. Which interpretation is correct? Well, obviously the latter. I am literally a theocratic fascist. I do indeed believe that my religious beliefs should be forced on people by the government. Um, and not just the government, but a government headed by me as a dictator. That, and, and that's just my opinion, okay? Um, and not just my religious beliefs, but really all of my beliefs. I, I want everything I believe to be forced on you by, by compulsion. For instance, I recently went on a tirade on, on Twitter against white condiments. Uh, I am racist against white condiments. Mayo, cream cheese, ricotta, tartar sauce, ranch dressing. All of it is garbage. Um, all of it is for low IQ people, uh, frankly. And in my theocratic fascist dictatorship, all of those condiments will be confiscated, uh, prohibited, and anyone who is caught with contraband, like, say, uh, ranch dressing, will face execution and a $50 fine. So you see, this is, really, this is really my whole thing. I just believe that the whole country should be forced by agents of the state to bend to my every whim and to live, speak, and act exactly as I decree on penalty of death. And, you know, that's it. It's, I, it's not a big deal. It's not like, it's not anything to, to, to overreact about. I just, I happen to believe that everyone should be forced to do what I want them to do. Um, and, and that's just my view. You know, we all have our political opinions and that happens to be mine. But I, I, I want to say this. Don't worry, uh, because when I complete my takeover of the country, I want to make it very clear. I want to make this very clear. Okay, this is important. My regime will be extremely corrupt, uh, which means that you can always bribe me, and I'll let you pass on most of the rules. For instance, um, you know, under normal circumstances, this is a theocratic fascist dictatorship, remember, so those who don't go to church on Sunday will be burned at the stake, usually. Now, if you pay me money, I'll probably let it go because I, you know, because it will be a, a very morally corrupt regime. I, I just, I, I cannot stress that enough. So um, it's not like I, 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 my mercy cannot be bought. And, uh, and, and that's all. It's like everyone's freaking out about it. Say, like, oh, you're going to burn us at the stake. Yeah, well, if you pay me, I won't. So what's, I mean, what's the big deal here? And I can only hope that the next media report um, makes sure to include that I do believe in burning people at the stake for not going to church or for using ranch dressing or for any number of literally hundreds of, of infractions. Um, and I can only hope that. It's, so so that's, I just wanted to make that uh, clarification.